Good afternoon, Amina. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. Assalamualaikum. Okay. Please go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, sure, sir. Uh, I'm Amina Batool. I'm from District Okada. Uh, my father is retired from textile uh, industry. My mother is a housewife. I have uh, two sisters and two brothers, and I am the second oldest. My eldest sister is uh, married and a housewife. My younger sister and one brother are doctors. And then my youngest brother is currently pursuing a degree in computer science. I have done bachelor's in electrical engineering from University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore. And then I did master's in computer science from Information Technology, University, Lahore. Uh, I completed my MS uh, with this distinction and achieved a gold medal. Um, as for my work experience, I have worked as an assistant business manager at PTCL after bachelor's. And during MS, I was employed as a graduate fellow at uh, ITU. As a graduate fellow, I was working as a research assistant as well as a teaching assistant. Um, after my MS, I joined Black, uh, Blockchain Lab at uh, ITU as a research associate. Then I uh, served as a lecturer at uh, Fast University uh, Computer Science Department. And currently, I'm working as an artificial intelligence engineer at RBSoft Lahore. Artificial intelligence and computer science, they offer you, uh, you know, a, a, a complete horizon of possibilities. The world is changing. Why are you coming back to the you know, rotten system of civil service? Why do you want to switch careers from a very promising and, and financially, you know, rewarding field of computer science and artificial intelligence to something as rotten and as red tapist, you know, inflicted system of civil bureaucracy? Um, yes, sir, um, I don't consider it as, uh, this as switching of career. Uh, I think I can uh, utilize my skill set and my knowledge of artificial intelligence and technology into civil service as well. Uh, uh, um, as an administrator of a district, you can, if a person has a wonderful knowledge of uh, artificial intelligence as well as other technology, then that administrator would, uh, would be more well-versed than uh, as compared to someone who does not possess this knowledge. So I don't, first of all, I don't consider this as switching of career. Secondly, um, uh, yes, artificial intelligence is a very rewarding field when it comes to finance, finances. Uh, but I have previously worked in academia for quite some time, and uh, that was not a very lucrative job. So uh, I know how to live within my means. So even if civil service is uh, not very well-paying job, uh, I don't consider it as a problem for me. And why I want to join civil service is uh, because my current uh, job and area provides me uh, exposure of a limited scope. Whereas I believe civil service would provide me more exposure and mm -hmm. it would provide me to work at grassroots level, which currently I'm not working at. Because uh, mm -hmm. obviously artificial intelligence is... Uh, uh, my current job, it is related to orders from abroad countries with, uh, uh, there that are abroad. And I want to uh, utilize my knowledge and skill at grassroots level in Pakistan. So this mm -hmm. is the reason I want to switch to civil service. All right. That, that's fine. But we will we will try to learn from your experience as a as a computer science expert, uh, also, a, also, a, also a lecturer. Uh, you you might be aware that Pakistan is one of the leading hub for uh, you know production of uh, computer science and, uh, and and web internet related products. Uh, companies in the West uh, they choose Pakistan as a, as a primary destination to outsource uh, a lot of work. Young young girls and boys in Lahore, Islamabad, Karachi they they are doing wonderful job. Uh, you know, creating excellent material and products for for companies abroad in USA and 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 and, and the Middle East now. How do you see the future uh, of computer science uh, in in computer science industry, the, the 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 software industry, for example, in Pakistan's economy? Uh, sir, uh, in economy, in Pakistan's economy, um, sir, I believe uh, technology and especially uh, artificial intelligence is going to play a huge part in Pakistan's uh, economy in the future. 
in near future as well as in the far future uh the reason being that pakistan is uh, uh taking lots of steps to improve uh, the it industry of pakistan uh, there have been uh, new uh, specialized training programs there have been uh, spts set up there have been, have been incubation centers set up uh, in almost all the major uh, cities of pakistan and these will pro- will be, this will become a bedrock of uh, it industry and uh, uh, more and more uh, of young youngsters are joining these uh, uh, centers even uh, the in national incubator centers of pakistan more than 2300 women entrepreneurs have been incorporated uh, so uh, i believe this is going to impact pakistan in a very uh, positive way uh, and uh, more and more resp- uh, uh, opportunities will grow with this the uh, growing setup of uh, institutions and uh, uh, this will this has a huge growth potential in my opinion mm. all right so <clears throat> what's your favorite thing about the book old man and the sea um sir uh, the old man and the sea uh, i can relate it to uh, on very personal levels uh, mm. considering myself and my gender the problem that i had to face in this male dominated uh, field especially of artificial intelligence and engineering uh, so mm. i think uh, the struggle that santiago went through the main character of the story mm. uh, the struggle that he went through to achieve uh, what he wanted a big shark a big uh, fish because he hadn't caught one in almost 84 days so i believe mm. uh, i have been through some some similar situations in life when i had to work hard to achieve what i wanted to achieve and uh, i think uh, one example of that is when i uh, went from engineering to computer science uh, i was uh, working as a graduate fellow and that was a full time job and after that i would study my courses that uh, i was studying as uh, an ms student and i completed my ms uh, with a gold medal uh, mm. so uh, i think uh, this is the kind of thing uh, this is how i relate myself to the story of santiago he had to go through mm. lots of troubles but ultimately he achieved his mm. goal what makes alan turing as your favorite personality um yes sir i think this is a little bias on my part because i am a part of artificial intelligence field so alan turing uh, is considered the father of artificial intelligence uh so i uh, am kind of indebted to him as well because i am a part of this field i am earning from this field and i'm learning mm-hmm. from this field so uh this is why he is one of my most favorite personal personalities because of the work he did uh that laid the foundation of artificial intelligence especially uh, his turing test that was uh, not passed for the longest period of time because no machine was able to crack the turing test and recently in in the recent adv- advancements uh, chat gpt has been able to crack the turing test so uh, this is the reason i uh, consider him a role model for me okay so the country is gearing up for elections uh, next early next year and uh, how do you think how much important do you think is uh, a stable government is for pakistan's economy um sir i believe that um a stable government is the first prerequisite to get mm. a stable economy uh, the current economical uh, quagmire of pakistan is partly due to the political mm. unrest in the country um uh, the un- because of this political unrest we uh, do not have the consistent policies uh we do not have consistent uh, leaders to show to the world that we have mm. peace and stability at home and that mm. is reflected in our economy so uh i think uh, uh i mean i not think i believe that uh, a stable uh, political setup is the foremost prerequisite to get a stable economy because mm. only then we'll have consistent policies to achieve what we want to achieve in economy of pakistan what is the future of palestine israel conflict um sir um if we talk about a viable uh, future for uh, uh, palestine and israel con- uh, conflict um 
in near future, uh, there does not seem to be a, a two-state solution even. But I believe that in far future, ultimately, there will be a two, two states will be formed. One would be Palestine and one would be the state of Israel, but uh, not in near future. Considering uh, the transgressions of Israel uh, and uh, their army uh, in the current uh, ongoing uh, Israel-Palestine conflict, uh, mm. currently Gaza is under siege for uh, many, many years. Uh, but in the far future, with if there is a mounting international pressure, then there would be a two-state solution. And if there is no uh, uh, work done by the international bodies and inter international leaders, uh, then uh, there doesn't seem to be a, a viable solution in the form of two states of Israel and Palestine. Okay, so <clears throat> can you list down three uh, policies or steps or strategies that Pakistan should do, implement vis-a-vis -vis its economy? Um, sir, first of all, uh, first and foremost is obviously uh, a stable political setup. Uh, but apart from that, I would like to uh, enlist three strategies. Uh, first one of which is um, an export-led uh, economy, export diversification, where uh, value is added to raw materials before selling those raw, mater raw materials. Uh, so this would be my first suggestion. And second one would be to broaden the tax base. Currently, mm. Pakistan has uh, a huge potential of uh, 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 gaining taxes, but the current uh, setup is uh, more focused on taxing the already taxed uh, people. So this mm. would have to change. And then we would have a broadened tax base, and that would lead to a better economy. And other than that, I think uh, the third suggestion, in my opinion, is that more focus should be on youth. Because uh, currently we have an un unemployment rate. All right. All right. All right, Amna, I think it's a, it's a very good interview. I don't have a lot of things to tell you. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a very good interview, frankly. Uh, you have all the, all the prerequisites. Uh, to, 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 to be qualified, uh, to be allocated to the group of your choice. You are confident. Uh, you have very good communication skills. Uh, and I think even before co good communication skills is your listening skills. You, you listen to the question. You use the same phrase. I don't remember I not You use the exact same phrase to answer the question. So it's a, it, it reflects very very good on your listening skills and being able to comprehend the answer and then uh, articulate the answer accordingly. Uh, but one thing that I have noticed is uh, that uh, you seem to be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, under pressure and uh, you need to calm down. You need to relax. ठीक है अभी मुझे नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता कि वो काढ़ा अभी इस वक्त आप काढ़ा में यस सर मैं काढ़ा में हूं तो वो काढ़ा में क्या गर्मी बहुत ज्यादा आपको पसीना छाया हुआ है आपका मुंह लाल हुआ हुआ है ये ये चीज ठीक नहीं है तो क्या गर्मी है वहां पे अह सर गर्मी तो बहुत ज्यादा तो मुझे तो और कोई मसला नजर नहीं आ रहा है बस सवाल ये है कि आपको जल्दी है बस पता नहीं आप जल्दी लीजिए आप वो उसकी वजह यही है कि उसकी वजह से ओवरऑल जो मतलब 10 में से 10 नंबर आने चाहिए तो 10 में से 8 या 9 आ रहे हैं यानी ये नहीं कि उससे ज्यादा खराब हो रहा है बट आई थिंक यू कैन बी अमंग फ्रैंकली लुक आई आई एम टेलिंग यू विद 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 कॉन्फिडेंस दैट यू कैन बी अमंग द टॉप स्कोरर्स इन द इंटरव्यू but you need to work on on uh, on on your ability to stay calm or you work on the on you work on the ability to be a little bit more firm for example mujhe bhi sawal yaad nahi aa raha i should have noted down i would have given you example maine kya sawal pucha aapse economy ka aapne acha jawab diya gaza ka bhi aapne theek jawab diya gaza ka jawab mujhe itna maza nahi aaya kyunki aapne kaha ki ji wo immediate maine kaha how do you see the future aapko us pe bada uh, उससे लग रहा था कि आप 
थोड़ा कन्विक्शन नजर आनी चाहिए आपके जवाब में फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कुड है एज फॉर एज दूचर इज कंसर्न द टू स्टेट सोल्यूशन इज द ओनली वाइबल सोल्यूशन ऑल दो इट डज नॉट सीम अ पॉसिबिलिटी इन इन द इन द शॉर्ट रन बट बट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द ओनली सोल्यूशन दिस हैज बीन प्रपोज फॉर द लास्ट सेवेंटी ईयर्स इट डज नॉट इसराइल डज नॉट एग्रींग टू दिस डज नॉट चेंज एनी थिंग एट ऑल समझ रहे थोड़ा सा आपको मुझे समझ आ रही है थोड़ी सी वो कॉन्फिडेंस तो है बहुत ज्यादा थोड़ी सी कन्विक्शन की मुझे कमी नजर आ रही है और उसकी वजह मुझे लग रहा है कि जाहरा इंटरव्यू में थोड़ा सा बंदा स्ट्रेस हो जाता है आपका जो है ना वो परफॉर्मेंस उन्नीस बीस का फर्क पड़ रहा है और मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कि उन्नीस बीस से बड़ा फर्क पड़ जाएगा तो थोड़ा सा आप थोड़ा यू नीड टू काम डाउन मैं एक ही लाइन है आपके लिए यू नीड टू काम डाउन और यू नीड टू टेक यू टाइम टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन यू हैव वेरी गुड ऑर्गोमेंटेटिव स्किल्स यू हैव वेरी गुड लिसनिंग स्किल्स यू हैव वेरी गुड कम्युनिकेशन और तो तीसरी चीज कुछ चौथी चीज चाहिए नहीं इंटरव्यू के लिए ये चीजें चाहिए यू हैव गुड इन्फॉर्मेशन ठीक है अब फॉर एग्जाम्पल अच्छा दूसरी बात यह कि डोंट एज्यूम कि आपका इंटरव्यू भी उसको सारा कुछ पता है अब मैं इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी और इनोवेशन के साथ डील कर रहा था मैंने वॉज पोस्टेड इन इन पाकिस्तान मिशन इन जीवा तो मुझे थोड़ा पता है नेशनल इंकमेशन सेंटर का सारा मुझे अंदाजा है कि वहां बाबे बैठे होंगे दे हैव नो आइडिया अबाउट इट यू नीड टू थोड़ा सा अपना नॉलेज बताएं आप जब आपको बता आपसे पूछा गया आपकी फील्ड है यू आर नॉट ओनली अ सॉफ्टवेयर कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियर योर सेल्फ बट यू हैव आल्सो बीन अ टीचर तो आपके पास तो ये सारी इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल है तो वहां पर दिस इज आपकी जो फील्ड होती है ना दैट इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू टू डिस्प्ले योर नॉलेज वो आपकी एक जो है ना आपकी आपको एक पिच मिलती है जिसमें जैसे वो क्रिकेट में एक नो बॉल के बाद एक गेंद आती है जिसमें आउट भी नहीं होना होता और उसको फ्री फ्री बॉल फ्री वो कहते हैं फ्री डिलीवरी तो दिस इज अ फ्री डिलीवरी उस पर आपने आउट भी नहीं होना तो आप अपना वहाँ नॉलेज बताएं फॉर एग्जांपल पाकिस्तान की इकोनॉमी तबाह हुई हुई थी आईटी एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सेक्टर वॉज दी ओनली सेक्टर विच वॉज परफॉर्मिंग पॉजिटिवली इम्पोर्ट काम थी और एक्सपोर्ट ज्यादा थी ये पिछले साल की बात है ये वाली इस तरह की इन्फॉर्मेशन अब नेशनल इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर यू एज्यूम कि मुझे पता होगा मुझे तो पता था लेकिन वहां लोगों को नहीं पता होगा यू हैव टू टेल यू हैव टू टेल देम कि इस वक्त पाकिस्तान में नेशनल इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स हैं उनके कितनी ब्रांचेज हैं हैदराबाद में है लाहौर में है कराची में इस्लामाबाद में है और मजीद बन रहे हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर का एक प्रोग्राम था कि जिसमें वो बेस्ट जो स्टार्टअप थे स्टार्टअप की बात करें ठीक है थोड़ा सा उसमें उसको उसमें मजीद जान ले गए हैं अपने जवाबों में Otherwise, I I don't find a lot of problems with your with the interview, and आपका कुछ सवाल है तो पूछे. Uh, first of all, sir, thanks a lot. Uh, आपको जो feedback है, I will work on that. Uh, I understand this, but वाकई मुझे पसीना आ रहा है हालांकि इतनी सर्दी नहीं है यहाँ पे. But I will uh, inshallah work on that. मुझे आपसे बाकी आपने सारी basis मेरे क्वेश्चन से आपने वो ऑलरेडी आंसर कर दिए हैं जो मैं पूछना चाह रही थी मुझे मैंने इस टाइम पैलेस्टाइन का आपसे वो मुझे भी लग रहा था कि मैं सही आंसर इतना नहीं कर रही तो वो भी आपने बता दिया है तो आई एम रियली थैंकफुल फॉर द फीडबैक देखिए आपने जो आप ऐसे दिया जैसे आपको प्रोडिक्ट करने के लिए कहा आपको आपने अपना ओपिनियन देना ठीक है तो आप आप अपने ओपिनियन के कॉन्टेक्ट से उसको बताएं कि जी अभी तो नजर नहीं आता लेकिन फ्यूचर में बहरहाल दिस इज ओनली सोल्यूशन और थोड़ा सा फर्म होके बताएं जितनी आपकी फर्मनेस बढ़ेगी इंटरव्यू में देखें इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि बंदा जो है वो बंदा हम्बल रहे बंदा जो है वो रिस्पेक्टफुल रहे बट देन इट्स इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू स्टे कॉन्फिडेंट ऑल्सो तो ऑल दो देर इज अ वेरी बेर लाइन कुछ लोग थोड़े से एरोगेंट हो जाते हैं जब वो जो नो कॉन्फिडेंस उनको लगता है कि ज्यादा वो बट अगेन आप में वो मसला नहीं है आप बिलो आप बेसिकली उसे थोड़ा नीचे परफॉर्म कर रही हैं कि जी यू नो यू हैव टू स्टे हम्बल यू हैव टू स्टे यू नो विद इन द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट लेकिन आई वुड से कि थोड़ा सा मजीद खुल के खेलें ठीक है और थोड़ी सी फॉर्मनेस लेके आए आपके कुछ जवाबों से लगना चाहिए कि आप ये पूछ नहीं रही आप बता रही हैं यू नो स्टैंड वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ठीक है और इसकी इसका एक ही हल है इसका एक ही हल है कि यू गिव मोर एंड मोर इंटरव्यूज और जरूरी नहीं है कि इस तरह आप फॉर्मली जाके अकेडमीज में यू गिव इंटरव्यू टू योर सेल्फ एवरी डे अपनी बहन को अपने भाई को कजन को दोस्त को यू जस्ट कीप ऑन प्रैक्टिसिंग ये खत्म हो जाएगा ये जो स्ट्रेस थोड़ा बहुत है दिस इज वेरी नेचुरल मुझसे तो बोला भी नहीं जाता था जब मैं इंटरव्यू की तैयारी करना शुरू हुआ था मुझे लगता था मेरी बहुत अच्छी तैयारी है बट वन डे आई थॉट के ओके लेट्स आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माई सेल्फ मुझे बोला नहीं गया हालांकि मुझे जवाब आता था तो यू नो यू 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 प्रैक्टिस मोर एंड मो
थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर बाय